All right. Hey, today what I want to do is tell you about a new feature from seowriting.ai called Brand Voice. And the real key thing with Brand Voice is it's going to allow you to train seowriting.ai to write in your particular style and tone. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this new feature. Now, the very first thing I did is I just wrote an article without using Brand Voice. So this is one I wrote on search intent. When you see how I set it up, just the standard way of setting up an article. Here I picked a casual tone of voice. Typically I'll write an article like this in the third person, not the first person. And then I did not select a brand voice, and this is the new piece in the interface that you'll see. So when, when I went ahead and I created that article, this is what we got from it. So why is search intent important? SEO implications. And this is how it starts out. Ever wondered why some websites rank higher in search results, even if they're not big names? The answer is search intent. It's a key concept that has changed SEO strategies. This is just using the settings that are available in SEO writing without using the new brand voice feature. So let's go ahead and rewrite this article, but this time we're going to set up a brand voice when we do it. So I'm going to go ahead I'll say repeat, but in this case, before we run this article again and see how brand voice changes the tone and style of the article, we have to set up a brand voice. So you can do it in a couple different places. We're gonna do it in the top navigation bar here. We'll click on brand voice. And so it says, create your first brand voice, make it easy to write in your style with customized voices. So I'm going to click new. Now, when you add your brand voice, there's a few ways to do it. Now, what I did is I used a tool that I have called Cast Magic, but there's a lot of different tools out there. Some of them are free, some are paid. And you can actually get a transcription from like one of your YouTube videos if you have a YouTube channel, or you can simply just record yourself speaking there's a lot of different ways to do this. Maybe you have some old blog posts that you wrote from scratch, not using AI. Anything that incorporates the way that you talk. Typically, I talk in a very conversational tone, a very casual tone. Um, you know, my whole deal is teaching people how to use software. So what I did is I found three videos that I thought were very conversational in nature and sort of captured my personality. And then I'm using these for my brand voice. So basically what I did is I took the three transcriptions from the three different YouTube videos that I had. I put them all into one big document. This is what I'll use when I train SEO writing on my brand voice. So I'm just going to go ahead, copy this. I would say that the more information that you give the tool, the better the brand voice it's going to come up with, and the more likelihood there is for the blog posts that are created with your brand voice to sound more like you. We're going to put this in. So now I'm going to create a brand voice. So I just click Create Brand Voice. What SEO Writing did is it went out, it analyzed my brand voice, and it came up with this. So they're calling this Brand Voice Digital education expert. I'm just going to call it Mike's TOV, tone of voice. And it says that I speak in a friendly, conversational, approachable expert sharing personal experiences. That makes sense. Point of view, first person using I, direct address to audience with you. Style of expression, casual but informative, pretty straightforward, uses real examples. It has a brand archetype, I'm sure if you're deep into branding, brand archetype means something to you. I don't have a lot of branding background, but it says that I'm a sage. I share wisdom and knowledge while maintaining accessibility, which is what I try to do, right? Just try to teach you things in a very straightforward and easy to understand way. I mix technical terms with everyday language short digestible sentences with natural pauses. Now for target audience, it says digital content creators, bloggers, that's right on. A company mission, I don't have a company mission, so I'll just go ahead and say this is fine. 
Now you can add additional things to this brand voice. So this is the analysis that you get from seowriting.ai. But if you wanted to add any other elements of your brand in here, you could. You would just name it and then describe it. So I'm going to go with what SEO writing created for me automatically. I'm going to save this brand voice. And now here it is, and it's available to me to use. So if we go back to that original article that I wrote about search intent, this one right here, and that was created with a casual tone of voice. I'm going to recreate this article with my own brand voice that we just put together. I'll go down and I'll go to brand voice. I'll use Mike's TOV. That's what I titled it. Notice when I choose a brand voice. Now point of view is grayed out and the tone of voice is grayed out because SEO writing is using the brand voice. So it's not going to enable you to make any choices here. So I'm going to leave everything just the same as it was before. Same outline, whole bit. So let's go ahead and run this article and then we'll see if they sound different. So here's that initial article that was written. Let's go ahead and just take a look at something here. And I'm just going to read through it real quickly. Search intent is what drives someone to search for something online. It's the reason behind a Google search. Search engines are getting better at figuring out what people want and showing them the best results. By focusing on search intent, you're not only pleasing search engines, you're making your site better for people. This leads to better user experience, more engagement, etc. So that's sort of the tone of voice and approach that SEO writing took when I used a casual tone of voice and I didn't use a brand voice. So this is the article that was written with my brand voice. And it is slightly different. I'm not going to read through the whole article because, you know, you're going to get bored. But let's just look at a little bit of it. Ever wondered why some websites sort of the top of search engine results while others struggle? The answer lies in understanding search intent. As an SEO expert, I've learned how key it is to know what users seek when they search online. Let's explore why search intent is vital for SEO success. Here's a little bit more. Search engines are getting smarter day by day. They're not just looking for keywords. They're understanding what users need. There's not a ton of difference, but it is really matching my brand voice, which is educational, conversational. And again, I haven't done any tweaking to this tone of voice. I'd like to tweak it a little bit more. And to do that, what I'd probably do is go out to YouTube, find a, a few more of my videos that are very conversational in tone and add those in and have it recreate the brand voice again. It's not going to be perfect the first time. The key thing to remember is you can tweak that as much as you want. So if you go back to your brand voice, you can open it up. You can tweak any of these. You can also just go back and selectively find different pieces of transcripts or of your writings that really reflect the way that you want to sound and personalize this even more. This is just my first shot at doing it. I wanted you to see how the tool works. I like the fact that I can create blog posts that are going to sound more like the way I present things on YouTube. Now, that's not the only use case, right? You may have lots of other ways to use brand voice. That's the way I plan to use it. So if you don't have seowriting.ai, make sure, go to the description. I've got a link there. With a promo code, you can get 25% off. So take advantage of that if you don't have a writing tool yet or you just want to see if SEO writing might be a better tool than the one that you currently have. So I hope you found this useful. Until next time, take care.